monumental moments where we live to multiply his movement. I'm Melissa Machenbacher, and this is a place we passionately pursue and proclaim Jesus. Today's monumental moment on the Fuel for the Harvest podcast is titled Exiting and Entering. Well, it's finally here, moving day, and all the emotions that go with it. I just have to warn you, I'm going to be real and vulnerable, and it's quite an emotional day for me. As if I didn't have enough boxes to move already, I have truckloads and truckloads of memories. Memories of God's faithfulness and ministry and miracles that have happened in this home. Anniversaries and celebrations and birthdays to remember. My children growing up in this home. Meals around the kitchen counter and conversations and even disagreements that we've had under this roof. There was joblessness in the season that my husband lost his job, breathtaking Colorado sunsets that we got to enjoy out on the back deck, and the stop you in your track sunrises, the kids' first days of school, and the scriptures written on the floors under the carpet that we ripped up when we replaced the carpet, the growth charts penciled on the pantry wall, the cars driving off to college for the very first time hosting ministry leaders from around the world and loved ones and strangers that got to stay in this home, the worship music echoing throughout our home daily and the gut-wrenching prayers that I prayed on my knees in this house, the sound of laughter and tears and sometimes, yes, even yelling. Through it all, it's been a peaceful sanctuary and a retreat for our family and so many others. It's God's home, honestly, and he's allowed our family the honor to stay here for the past 10 years. It's the longest period of time we've ever stayed anywhere. It's a home that answered so many prayers, and I truly do believe it was a gift from God. We've come in and out of this front door so many times, and today will be the last. I'm overwhelmed with all the emotions as I reflect on the blessings of God. Yes, I I understand that this home is just stuff here on earth, but it's a place that holds so many precious memories in my heart, and thankfully they're ones I will carry with me as I exit this door for the last time. It's a time to follow God yet again, even when I don't have all the answers, I don't know what's next, and when it doesn't make sense. I heard a pastor once say, the way you exit one door determines the way you enter the next. So how am I going to walk out of this door for the last time today? Am I going to be sad and sorrowful or am I going to be joyful and expectant and thankful? I choose thankfulness in the midst of expectancy. A new season is here and I've got to walk through it expectant and thankful. I remember Psalm 121, 8 says, The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. He will guard you and watch over and protect and preserve our going out and our coming in. I love how the ESV version mentioned going out first. We must take action. We must follow God. We must step out. And in doing so, the Lord will preserve us. What is it that God's asking of you today? It may not be to sell a home in this season like he's asking me to do, but surely he's asking something of all of us. Are you hesitant because maybe you don't know all the details and you don't know the next steps? Step out in faith and watch God's faithfulness guard and protect you as you go out and you come in. Trust him. He always knows best. Reflect on his faithfulness with such thanksgiving and trust and obey him when he says, follow me. How can you make monumental moments and multiply his movement today?